Hi, my name is Tyler Pierce from Light. Hi, I'm Ian Roundtree from Light. Today we want to tell you about our mock interview process. So this is a program that we piloted last year or earlier, and we've mostly had positive feedback so far. Uh, there's a few organizations that we work with involved in it, but can you tell us a little bit about what the mock interview is for and who is it meant to serve? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so our mock interview process is for folks who probably don't have a lot of experience doing interviews or maybe haven't done an interview in a really long time and through the partner have done some work either on the resume or preparing to do interviews but want some extra practice before they go out and do the interviews themselves. So we've designed it specifically because we know that partners do that, that preparatory work, but we also have heard that a lot of where people troop up is, you know, they've prepared with their partner, it's someone they know, and they go and their nerves get the best of them, they get nervous. It's hard to talk, right, to a stranger about yourself and to sort of quote unquote brag, which is kind of what you need to do in an interview you need to showcase your skills. So the way that we designed the mock interview is we match up a one of our volunteers who's been trained in the process with a participant from one of our partner organizations. It's It all happens via Zoom and um, the our volunteer will uh, customize the questions to meet both the sector needs as well as where people are coming in career-wise. So, you know, if someone is going to be um, applying to jobs as a clerk, um, we can adjust our questions accordingly. If they are coming in and they have senior management experience, but, you know, maybe for some people they've been out of the workplace for a long time, we can customize our questions immediately. So they they, the first part of the interview with the participant is, is really thinking about, oh, well, what will you be applying for? And then it goes into like a real life interview. It takes about an hour. Our volunteer will take notes. At the end of the interview, they'll have a little bit of a debrief with the, the participant, give the, giving them some feedback and then hearing from them, like kind of immediately, how did it go? How did you feel? Which ones did you do you feel like you answered really strongly? Where do you think you need to work? Then our volunteer will write, write up some of those notes, send them back to us, and we will forward them to the partner so that you can have a follow-up conversation. Um, and what we found that we've done just under a dozen of these interviews over the past year, um, we found people have said that it's actually really helpful um, to meet with a stranger. And so that, that to us is the, it, it's a, it's a value add that our partners can offer. And we have a slate of volunteers who are ready um, all the time uh, to do this. There's no start and stop for our volunteer program. The light volunteers that, are, that update us periodically with their schedule. And um, what I can show you, we've, we've created a very low barrier process so that people can sign up um, within, within actually like a week of of when they're interested in doing this. So I'm sharing my screen right now, and this is Light's main page, which you can find at light.mb.ca. And if you go under the tab for programs, um, this is a part of one of our volunteer programs. So if you go under volunteering, there's a lot of scrolling here. This tells you a little bit about how our volunteer program um, is designed, and then we have the, the mock interview program. Uh, so you see here, there's a link that says apply now. And again, there's a little bit of scrolling here, tells you a little bit about uh, the mock interviews from the perspective of our volunteers. Elizabeth has been one of our volunteers since the beginning. And if you scroll to the bottom, is this is where you can schedule a mock interview. So today we're recording this on June 27th, that's the Monday. You can't choose uh, to book a, uh, one of these mock interviews on the same day because we need to make sure our volunteers are available and are ready and booked in their life. But we could possibly book one uh, tomorrow um, or Wednesday. There's um, this mock interviews can be booked 
um, with two weeks in advance. So you can see I went to the next week. Um, so there doesn't need to be a lot of lead time for you to sign up. So you find a day first. So let's go to Wednesday, see what's available. And um, it turns out that we have enough volunteers to offer basically um, these interviews from nine to three. Um, and then so you click on the time that you want. Let's say we want to do a one at one o'clock. And this is what your participant would need to fill out. So they need to provide their name and their email. It's really important that the email is the email that will be accessing uh, a Zoom. Because what happens as soon as you press book this appointment, which you see in the lower right corner here, is they will be sent a calendar invite. And that calendar invite will have the Zoom link that our volunteer and your participant will be accessing. Um, then we want to know who the referring partner is, so what, what is your name? Um, you can also put the program there, that's fine. And then we would like the phone number of the participant. So that is what it looks like. Um, sometimes it does happen, of course, that people can't make their appointment. And all, all you would need to do is just send us an email just letting us know. So I'll stop my screen share. That's great. So the participant side looks really straightforward. We're not asking for a lot of information from them, just enough to get in touch with them and who referred them. And that's kind of the important part here. Um, so in terms of the partners that want to do this referral, what kind of steps are necessary for them? How much work do they have to put into this? I'm sure everybody's really busy and doesn't want to spend a whole day setting this kind of stuff up. Yeah. Yeah. So we set it up in a way that's meant to be really low barrier access for partners and not a lot of work on either end. We want this to benefit partners um, without having to put in a lot of extra time. So all that we ask to participate is for you to email us at info at light.nbca. That's our general email. You can find it online or at the bottom of every partner email that we send out. And let us know that you're interested and that you have some participants and you're gonna start sending people. Again, this, this is, happening all the time. There's no start or stop date for us. So as long as we know that who to send that feedback form to, right? So if you are sort of a program manager who's gone through interviewing with folks, we want to have your email address so that when the when our volunteers finish their write-up and send that form to us, we know who at your organization to send it to. And all we ask is that you know, you follow up with your participant, again, for that further learning, which we know all our partners are going to be doing anyway. So it's meant to be really easy. And like we said, this, um, we piloted this last year, we've gotten a really good response, both from our volunteers, as well as from people who are, are getting ready to go out. And it, it's, it's really meant to kind of just get rid of those get rid of some of those nerves that people have with meeting a stranger and um, people have found it really useful. Awesome. So if our partners have any more questions about the program or need more information, uh, then they can feel free to reach out to us at uh, info at light .mb .ca. Uh, I want to say, again, thanks for watching. This has been just a really great short interview, or uh, not interview, an overview of the interview program, I should say. Uh, any Last comments, Tyler? No, I mean, I think the only thing I'd say is that like our volunteers have been completely amazing and we're really grateful that they're involved in supporting this work. Fantastic. Well, thank you very much for watching and we hope to hear from some of our partners about this soon. Thanks everyone. Bye.